The Michelamaza incident was what finally caused the Imagination Wizardry Depression to get out of the bottle. They created that University of New Haven Class of 2022 Facebook group to help get to know people more because you're most likely not going to know anyone and all these new people you're going to meet are most likely not going to be local within your community. In addition to the Imagination Wizardry depression side effects, the other reason what made me anxious about getting to know her was the fact my parents wanted me to live at home and commute. Here's how. I only applied to the University of New Haven because it's close to my home. I only committed there because it's close to home. If I would have been living on campus, I would have less likely applied there. University of New Haven is not all that popular, and there are some colleges that are more popular than UNH and have a better music program, campus, graduation rate, and etc. University of New Haven graduation rate was 49.6% at the time. I wasn't sure if I was going to 100% end up at University of New Haven because of that. If my parents were okay with me living on campus freshman year of college, then I would have applied to even better colleges. I still didn't know what it meant for a couple to be with one another. Here's why. When I was in middle school, I was assigned to be in this counseling group called Men's Group. Men's Group met in the counseling center once a week during lunch and once a month in the Dean's Lounge during lunch. Despite the fact I have friends, lots of them, who aren't in Men's Group, and despite the fact gatherings that only include folks from counseling group are not parties, my mom and dad made me and wanted me to throw a party that included only folks from men's group near the end of sixth grade. I threw a men's group only gathering. After I got an assigned seat at lunch to only men's group folks in seventh grade, after things got chaotic, after I got a crew change, after one of my friends overreacted, I thought it was for punishment. And it got much harder to associate with non-men's group folks. Later on in seventh grade, Four more folks in the men's group threw a men's group only gathering that only included men's group folks, despite them not parties as well. In fact, one of them threw one twice. I had a whole lot of trouble getting a girlfriend as I didn't know what it meant for a couple to be with one another, but men's group bubble for men's group only gatherings made it even harder. I had trouble getting invited to a party, but men's group gatherings only made it even harder. I would always get upset that I wasn't invited to a party in middle school, but my dad thought, you've been invited to lots of parties, but he was wrong, as men's group only gatherings are technically not parties. The only thing that makes the party is inviting all of your friends. With challenging behaviors occurring in middle school with bodies changing at different rates, dating, social media, popular gangs, and transition to teen years. I was a lot of negative behavior and I found it hopeless and that made it much harder to associate with the non-men's group folks. It really did make it much harder to do that. So men's group bubble was even bigger. Despite the fact I have lots of friends who aren't in men's group, despite the fact gatherings that only include folks from counseling group are not parties, and despite the fact I already threw a men's group only gathering, my mom wanted me to throw a men's group only gathering summer before I started 8th grade once again. I've dealt with a lot of isolation due to the fact I'm not that friends with some of the folks in men's group and I felt like I'm a lot closer to some other folks who aren't in men's group. After I dealt with that, harder to get a girlfriend and harder to get invited to a party and due to the fact my parents think men's group gatherings are real parties, I decided I am done with those gatherings that only include folks from men's group. I have friends who aren't in men's group. I've always had other friends than those folks. I'm not that friends with some of those folks. They aren't real parties. Refusing to throw an end of the year 8th grade men's group gathering that my mom suggested. If a student is in a friendship group bubble and a lot more associated with the counseling group folks, it's harder to tell whether or not the student is a nerd or not. It wasn't my idea to throw these men's group only gatherings. My parents wanted me to throw them. They made me throw them. It wasn't me who had the idea. It was my parents. Freshman year of high school, concert choir couldn't fit into my schedule because Learning Center had to meet every day. 
Learning Center interfering with choir made it much harder to associate with non-men's group folks. In addition, I was also assigned to be in all collaborative classes. Collaborative classes was a class with mostly Learning Center kids, which was basically the same kids in other classes. Collaborative classes made it much harder to associate with non-men's group folks. In addition, I dealt with a whole lot of depression from school, family, and life in general. My depression caused a lot of isolation as I barely did anything. Depression made it much harder to associate with the non-men's group folks as well. Men's group bubble was way worse in high school than it was in middle school. Middle school, I was in band and chorus all three years. And in band and chorus, I had a variety of students from learning center and non-learning center. Middle school, we had crews. Each crew had a variety of students from learning center and non-learning center. Some learning center folks weren't in my crew. I was a lot more social before the depression than during. I was even not that social even after the depression with all those side effects. Being yourself is about doing what you love and all the things that you prefer to do. Being yourself is not about what's in your IEP or what the teachers require you to do. Not everyone in Learning Center has all the same talents. All the Learning Center folks have different talents. If a student is in an all Learning Center class over a class where anyone is eligible, and if a student is in all collaborative classes, which makes them a lot more associated with the Learning Center folks than the non-Learning Center folks, then it's harder to tell whether or not the student is a nerd. Learning Center is not a class to follow your path in. It's a class to get extra help. Electives are classes to follow your path in. Learning Center is not a class where people choose to take. It's an accommodation class. Not everybody can take Learning Center. The only people who can take Learning Center are those with an individualized education plan. Sophomore year, I got choir in my schedule in a non-collaborative class biology. I still dealt with a whole bunch of side effects from my depression since it messed up a lot in my life, so it was extremely hard for the side effects to go away. A lot of other activity not going the right way and memories that were not supposed to be expected made it much harder to get rid of the imagination wizardry side effects. Side effects also made it harder to associate with non-men's group folks, so as a result, since I was a lot more associated with them, I still still didn't know what it meant for a couple to be with one another all throughout high school. 